Right now, I'm playing my brother in a game of one-on-one, -on -one, and the next point wins. I have been training to beat him for the last 50 days, so basically if I don't win this, I'm never gonna live this down. But before I get to this, let me show you how I got here. Hi, my name is Cam. And for as long as I can remember, I have loved basketball. The only thing is, I'm really bad at it. Well, like, I'm okay. Like, I can dribble pretty well. I'm a decent dribbler, but I'm actually terrible at... Shooting. Like, really, really bad. Think, like, the polar opposite of someone like, uh, Steph Curry. I don't think he's ever been a guy in our league to be able to shoot the ball as well as he does. Definitely the greatest shooter of all time. He's shooting from wherever the f he chooses to, man. From half court. Ah! Recently, Curry released a masterclass where he breaks down the ins and outs of shooting. I'm Stephen Curry, and this is my masterclass. So for the next 50 days, I'm going to follow Steph Curry's masterclass to see how much I can improve at shooting. To test this, I'm going to be conducting a 50 shot test. I'm going to be doing five from each spot around the three point line and then five in the key. And we'll see how much I can improve within 50 days. Let's do it. Bruh. On day one, I make a total of 9 out of 50 shots, with a field goal percentage of 18% and a 3 point percentage of just 8%. How are you feeling right now? Um, I'm actually embarrassed to post this online, like I think that was terrific. <laughs> I feel uh, a deep sense of shame. That was an air ball. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> For the first week, I'm going to be trying to rebuild my shot with Curry's five points for good shooting mechanics, which are making sure all 10 toes are pointed towards the net with my knees bent in an athletic stance so I can get the bulk of my power from my legs. From there, I want the ball to rest on the pads of my fingertips with a bit of space between the ball and the palm, with the goal being to create a straight line with my arm and the ball. For aiming, Steph teaches locking your eyes on the hooks that connect the mesh in the rim. And finally, the release. The goal is to finish your shot with your elbow over your eye. And at the top of the release, you gotta have that gooseneck. To practice, I'm gonna try and shoot for two hours every day, with the first week being entirely in the key working on my mechanics. If I can put all that technique together and get it so that it's automatic and comfortable, my mechanics should be in great shape to then start moving further and further away from the basket and eventually out to the three-point line. Keyword, eventually. Okay, so some of you are probably asking right now, why? Why take so much time out of your life just to play basketball? And to that, there is really just one answer, and that is spite. Pure, unadulterated spite. If you follow this channel, you'll know that a couple months back, I broke my rib playing basketball. And while that is unfortunate, what is even more unfortunate is the fact that every time I step on a court, I'm shooting a lower percentage than a stormtrooper. I'm catching L's every time I play one-on-one. -on -one. Worst of all, I lose all the one-on-one -on -one games I play with my brother, Brandon. <laughs> It became personal with me. So alongside my shooting test at the end of the video, I'm also going to be playing my brother in a game of one-on-one, -on -one, and hopefully I can beat him and reclaim just a bit of dignity that I have lost on the court to him over and over and over again. During my first couple days of practice, it's pretty clear that there's a lot to think about with shooting properly. 
Did I use my legs enough? Was my release too high? You get the idea. And with hundreds of reps every day, I wanna try and make sure I'm not missing anything. So I take Steph's recommendation and start filming myself shooting in slow motion. That way I'm able to see if there are any problem areas in my mechanics that I may not be tuned into. Right here. We got a problem right here. Hold up. Watch the follow through. It stops and then it kind of like falls down. What is that? Look at that follow through, that's trash. And what's crazy is I had no idea I was doing that. I thought I was shooting with perfect form at the park. I was tuned into everything. And then to come home and watch this playback and see that I'm doing things that I'm not even aware of. Bro, that's crazy. If I wasn't filming myself, I would never have any idea that I was doing that. That's insane. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that tomorrow. Going to the court the next day, my goal is to try and correct it. However, it is definitely a habit that's been ingrained into my shot for quite a while. And when something is second nature like that, it can take a lot of time to retrain. Basically what I'm saying is this little follow through hang up is a huge pain in the ass to fix. Luckily, after a few days and more slow motion review, I feel like my mechanics are actually in a really great place. And by day 12, I slowly start to step further and further away from the net, trying to maintain my mechanics. And if I'm being honest, it actually goes pretty well. On day 25, to see how I'm improving, I run through my 50 shot test. And while there's definitely improvement, there's still a lot to be done. I make 17 out of 50 shots, shooting 34% from the field and an abysmal 12% from three. To put that into perspective, three-time NBA All-Star Ben Simmons shot 34% from the free throw line this last playoffs, and actually our three-point percentage is pretty much the same too. So if you're looking at it this way, I, I, I guess I'm as good of a shooter as a three-time NBA All-Star. Jokes aside, I am going to be focusing on two things for the remainder of this challenge. Number one is catch and shoot drills, just because that's the next phase of Steph Curry's Masterclass. And I also think that's going to help me shoot better in a game setting against my brother. And then number two is extending my range out to the three-point line, as the majority of my three-pointers right now are air balls. So hopefully I can make some big strides and finish out this challenge strong. Halfway through, let's go. For catching and shooting, Steph teaches that the mechanics of your shots stay the same, but the footwork changes. Steph teaches to move your body to the ball so that you can catch the ball in an athletic stance, squared to the net and ready to shoot. The goal of the drill he lays out in his class is to have five makes in place, then five stepping forward, five stepping back, five stepping to the left, and then five stepping to the right. And pretty quickly I realized how much harder this is compared to stationary shooting. And embarrassingly enough, making just five shots from each spot takes me a very, very long time. My catch and shoot struggles continue for over a week making it feel like I've suddenly gotten drastically worse at shooting. And with more and more misses, it becomes more and more frustrating. Add in a few days of discouraging three-point practice, and it feels like any positive momentum I had with this shooting challenge is long gone. So tell me where your headspace is at. Um... Pretty frustrated, to be honest. I mean, I don't know, you like practice a whole bunch and then it feels like you have nothing to show. It feels like you're, I don't know. It just feels like a lot of hours that don't equate to much. If that makes any sense. But yeah, pretty frustrated. With just seven days left to my challenge, I try to put discouragement to the side and keep practicing, with my biggest worry right now being three-pointers. 
So my strategy is to gradually work my way further and further from the basket, and if I run into a lot of misses at any point, then I'll simply take a step in and try to get some makes to get my confidence back. And hopefully I can see some progress from three. the first day I've hit three in a row three-pointers. I actually feel like I'm starting to get a little bit of control with it. Holy smokes. It just takes a little bit of focus on bringing in my legs and it's gotten so much better. It's stupid. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This feels like progress. Goodness gracious, about time. <laughs> Let's go. In my last few days, I really start to see improvement in my three-point shooting, especially when I gradually step further and further back. I also start to get more confident with my catch-and-shoot drills, and am able to complete them faster and with better form. Today is day 50 of the challenge. It is finally here and I'm not gonna lie, I am feeling a little bit nervous about this shooting test and about playing Brendan in once. <laughs> but regardless of how this goes today, I feel like I have made so much progress in this challenge. For the first time ever, I feel like I have good shooting mechanics. I can tweak my shot and know what went wrong if I was to miss. When I'm playing one-on-one, -on -one, I don't just have to drive to the net over and over again to get a bucket. Now, I feel like I can do more. I can still drive to the net, but I could also stop and I can shoot. And for the first time, people actually have to like step up and play me as a shooting threat, which is really nice because I've been disrespected for way too long. Ultimately, I just feel like I'm leaving this challenge a better basketball player. I feel like I'm leaving not only a better shooter, but just more versatile, more able to contribute on the court. and. Yeah, more confident as a player. I guess all that's left is to crush this day 50 shooting thing and go be burning in one-on-one. -on -one. Let's get it. Shaking off some nerves early on, it's crazy how much of a confidence boost just seeing the ball go through the basket is. All I can hope is that the confidence I have right now carries out past the three-point line. Once my shooting test is done, we move straight into our game of one-on-one. -on -one. And Brendan comes out firing. Brendan is getting whatever he wants and is hitting everything. Down six, I finally get possession. Brendan's used to me only going for layups, so he sags off me on defense, which now I can actually capitalize on. And just like that, I'm back in the game. And we're back. Tie game and the next point wins. All I have to do is make one shot. Absolute cash. 
In my shooting test, I managed to improve in every single spot, taking me up to 31 shots made out of 50. And when you compare that to my day one numbers, I'd say this challenge was a huge success. Now you never want to be like a sore winner on the court, but I just got to get this out of my system. I'm so sorry, Brendan, when you see this, but let's go!